Right guys, so this year at the Stalking Show, we've got something a little bit different for you. Uh, you've all watched me and Rachel on stage breaking down stuff and, and doing the ball and doing the deer. Well, this year, we're gonna ask you to come up and break down a haunch of venison. We want you to do it in the way that we're gonna show you how to break down the haunch and lay it out so that we can then judge the best ones over the two days, that's a Saturday and a Sunday. The haunches are gonna be all supplied by Lincolnshire Game. And then also, you are gonna have these at the show. So basically there will be a flint and flame bony knife and a flint and flame um, filleting knife, which you'll be able to use them um, at the competition. So everything's gonna be supplied for you at the show. What you need to do is turn up, uh, register um, at uh, info at the stalkingshow.co.uk and register basically saying that you want to do the competition. So basically in the email, just write venison haunch competition and then basically say that you want to do it. You need your telephone number and your name in there, yeah, so that we can get in contact with you with if we need to. You need to say which heat you want to do. And there's gonna be two heats on Saturday and two heats on Sunday. 10 o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, on both days. So you'll be able to turn up at that time and basically register for that heat and then do your venison haunch, yeah, so that then we can judge it. And there's gonna be some phenomenal prizes. The first five prizes <coughs> is gonna be everybody, uh, the, the first, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, are all gonna take home the knives that they use on the day. That's the flint and flame knives. And then there'll be first, second, and third prize. And David's gonna tell us all about that, about what you're getting for those first, second, and third. So good luck with that, and over to David. First prize to win the whole competition will receive a wonderful Steiner sco four scope with a rangefinder courtesy of GMK. The second prize gets this wonderful pro set of larder knives. They're all inside this wonderful case from Flint and Flame. And the third prize will receive a stalking show jacket, whether it's the gilet or the arms, that's your choice. This is what we are gonna ask you to do at the show. So here I've got the venison haunch, yeah? And the venison haunch has got the H-bone still intact. So what we're gonna ask you to do is, Firstly, take out the H bone. And you're gonna do that by coming very carefully around the bone, cutting into the ball and socket here, and opening the ball and socket up, and then carefully working behind that ball and socket joint to get underneath and get into this bit underneath here, which is basically the, the rump of the actual deer. So very carefully, we're gonna run around just underneath that haunch and pull that haunch out and the rump at the back of the haunch here. You see, just go all the way around there and off comes the bone. Next, we're gonna work up here to take out the Achilles tendon and we're gonna go round here at the end of the shank. Just clean up the bone at the end of the shank, pulling up all that meat yeah, and getting it as nice and clean as possible. We're going to take our saw, which is also going to be provided at the, uh, at the show, and we're just going to saw that off. So we get a nice clean bone at the end there. So now we've got our haunch, yeah, so that's the haunch done, and now we're going to break it down into its primal. So turn it over, we're going to take the rump off first. So about half a centimetre just below that, where the bone sticks out, just cut across, and that will take out what's called the D-shaped rump. So that's our first joint. Then we go up here, and we're gonna cut into the bone here where the actual joint is on the bone. And your knife should disappear into there. If your knife doesn't disappear, that's it there. See here at the top here, I'm not going in. There, I'm not going in. But here, it slips straight into the joint. Cut straight across, yeah, and then take the tip of the knife and then roll it. So then you're cutting into that to give you your little mini shank. That's another joint. Next, we're gonna Look at this, and you see this muscle here, and this line here. So what we're gonna do is basically gonna cut along that line, yeah, very carefully, just separating the muscles. So what we're actually doing is segmenting the muscles off, and we call this seam boning. Pulling it away, yeah, and opening up the muscle joints. And you can see, basically, it just opens up very carefully, right till I go, to the other side here. Get to that other side, cut right across, and off comes one piece. Now we're gonna take the bone out. The bone goes from here to here. So we're gonna run our knife along the bone, carefully along that side of the bone, around the back, and on this side of the bone, yeah, to just pull that, prise that bone and pull it out. 
So very carefully on both sides, lift it up, get your knife underneath it, yeah, and cut backwards on the other side. Down we go. Again, just pulling this away. And here, at the back here, we've got the, the little kneecap. Now we've got a cut on top of that kneecap so that that comes off with this piece of bone. And you should have a little piece of meat there attached to the bone, yeah? Where the bone was, divide that in half. Okay, so we've got now three pieces that we've got on here. Now we're gonna clean these pieces up. So we're gonna take the first one, we're gonna remove this little cylindrical piece that's on the edge here, yeah, and just take that little cylindrical piece there off. All right, and that's known as the salmon cut. That's one joint. Here, we've got the silver side. And again, we're gonna take now the filleting knife, which is a little bit more flexible, and we're gonna cut away all the sinews on the outside. So we're gonna take the sinew off on this side, yeah, very carefully there, and once I've got to the bottom of it, I'm gonna take the knife underneath it, and I'm gonna skim off the sinews on the outside. So underneath, basically that cleans up that piece of meat, and there's a little bit of trim that we've got. Turn it over on the other side, there's another piece of sinew. Take that off. Off that comes. Any little bits of sinew that's on there need to come off. So that's our first little joint. That's the silver side, all nice and clean. And with the top side, this got a little flap on top of, on top of it. Do you see this little flap that sits on top? We just take that off. Off that comes. And that goes for your trim as well. And then here, if you look at it, you've got two little pieces of meat that sit together. So just here, you can see there's a little bit that segments them and you just pull that up. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that little piece of meat there out. And this is called the bullet. A little bullet like that, and that comes off. Here, we've got the top side, right? So that's the piece of top side that we've got there. So that sits on there like that. The last bit, this bit here, this is a thick flank. There's a little bit of uh, bit that sits on the outside. Take that off. So it gives you this roundish piece of meat. And you can see this is one piece of meat here and that piece of meat sits on top of another piece of meat that's underneath. So if we pull that bit of meat off of there, we can see where the two muscles are joined up. So here, there. So we take the filleting knife, uh, sorry, the, the boning knife, and just prise, your knife, prise it across here, just on the top of that little bit of sinew, yeah, so that we can separate that bit of sinew out. And just pull it across, pull it across, pull it across, yeah, like that pull that across like that, there it goes, off it comes. You've got a little cylindrical piece there, that's there. And then this little bit here is the uh, little bit that sits on the top here of the thick flank. Take that bit off of there, a little bit of sinew, and there we go. So that's all of the bits that we've got. So what you should end up with is the rump, the shank, the silver side, the top side, two pieces of the thick flank, and then a salmon cut and a bullet, and then two little bits of bone like that. So as judges, what we're looking for is we're looking for all of these pieces basically laid out, yeah? So that you have each of the individual pieces, that they're nicely cut, they're even, that too much hasn't been taken off of each individual piece that you've cut. And it gives a nice representation of what comes out of the haunch and all the, all the pieces that come out of the haunch. So that's what we're looking at. I've done it very, very quickly there. You guys have not got a time limit to do this. So you can do it in your own time. What you'll do is basically you'll turn up for your heat. So if you're coming at 10 o'clock, you turn up and there is 35 minutes for you to turn up. If you're a bit late, don't worry, right? We'll still get you on there because it's not a race. It's all about basically turning out a nicely set out basically haunch of venison. So we'll lay it all out like this. And once you've done it, you go away, your name will be on it and the judges will come over. And as judges, we'll be looking out for this nicely laid out venison haunch so that we can judge it and basically hopefully you'll win. So don't forget to send your email to info at the stalkingshow.co.uk to tell them which heat you wanna do on what day and label it at the top, yeah, as venison haunch competition. So hopefully we'll see you there and you'll win.